General Hospital Marathon and another soap center here on SoapNet. Soap children and one life to live. Soap watching made easy only on SoapNet. seems so important. Only if I could remember it. Maybe it's a good thing you don't. Yeah, right. You know, there's enough scary things that go on when I'm awake that I can't forget. Jack, you said you had a nightmare, too. Yeah, yeah but it was nothing. It was nothing. Hey, come on. You woke up in a sweat. It has to be something. Well, it, it started out great. I mean, we were making love. But then you left me. And I was looking for you, and I couldn't find you anywhere. Was Caleb in your dream? I don't know. I don't know. But that doesn't matter, all right? All that matters is that you're right here, you're in my arms, and we're together. That's all that matters. I feel so safe when I'm with you. Our dreams aren't real, Libby. What we have is. This mirror was shattered. It was completely shattered. How in the world did you put that thing together? Well, it's, it's kind of like riding a bike. Once you learn how, it's hard to remember a time when you couldn't. So this, this evil presence, it's gone? For now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're cousins, and we're both vampire slayers. And you just did something that I can't possibly do. Or can I? Is there some sort of secret? Tell me. There's no big mystery. I, I'm a believer. In what? Before there was anything else in the world, there was love. I believe that. That's my power. I do, too. That's, that's what I've always, always, always believed, that, that goodness and light always defeats evil. Then don't focus on the evil, Lucy. Don't give it power. Focus on the light, and you'll be safe. Do you see anything out there? No, we'll make sure. No, don't go out there. It could be a trick. It has nothing to do with vampires. It could be Caleb trying to lure us outside. Think about it. The last time we saw lightning like that, Caleb was dead. He could be back trying to get Danny. Caleb is dead. This is something else. I'm going to go check it out, all right? All right, fine, but just promise me. Promise me you'll come back and tell me anything. I don't care how bad it is. I need to know. I won't even know I'm gone. Did you really think it would work? 
What are you gonna do? To you? Nothing. Nothing. You think I'd ever do anything to the mother of my child? Caleb will never get you. Never. Rafe, you know, if I could learn to use my powers the way that you do... You'd be dangerous. Don't look for trouble, Lucy. Because if you do, it'll find you first. Listen, Rafe, I don't mean to make fun here, but this is all starting to sound a little Star Wars. It's like, just use the Force, Lucy. I love, Lucy. love, love, love Star Wars. We know. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Look, I believe in the power of love as much as the next guy. I mean, it's worked wonders in my life, but... That doesn't mean it can just reverse the physical laws of the universe. You mean the physical laws as we know them? You mean we can move mountains if we want to badly enough? All I'm saying is, there's a lot we still don't understand. Especially we mortals. Excuse me. Hello? Kevin. Kevin, there's something wrong. There was this loud noise outside the loft. Ian went to go see what it was, and he never came back. What if Caleb's got him? Eve, just try to stay calm. I'm on my way. And get these thoughts of Caleb out of your head. All right, bye. Doc, what is it? What's wrong? Uh, Ian's missing. I think I better go over there and check it out. Oh, I'm right behind you. I'm okay. coming with you. You want me to come? Maybe I can help. Uh... Actually, I think we'd better take care of this by ourselves. Doc, he, he could help, you know. He... Lucy, Eve's pretty much on edge these days. I don't think it's the right time to bring a stranger in, that's all. Okay, guess you're right. Then I'll just wait here, if that's okay. Oh, please. Mikasa Sukasa. Please. We'll be back as soon as we can, okay? Make yourself comfortable. lose myself in you. Mm, that's what I want, Jack. Is to forget everything but the way we feel when we're together. I love you so much. It kills me to think that I almost lost you. Come here, Jack. so familiar. I wanted you so bad that I can't think about anything else. Well, that's a good thing, right? It is just... It scares me. Because that's the way it's it was fine. before when I... Don't be afraid. Jack, this is not like before. the final days of the super shoe sale going on now at J.C. Penney. you're here. 
Oh, Ian, he went to go check things out. He never came back. He would never leave me and the baby uh, alone uh, this long. Calm down. Calm down. Start at the beginning. Tell me what happened. There was this um, crackling noise, like lightning outside. Ian went to go see what it was, and now he's gone. He's just okay, gone. No, wait, wait, Eve, we didn't see anything out of the ordinary when we arrived. Mm -hmm. It could be a trick to lure us outside. What do you mean a trick? So Caleb can steal the baby. No, no, that's not going to happen. Now, you sit tight, you try and relax, and I'll go find Ian. Lucy? I'm staying. All right. I'm staying. I, I don't know who I'm more worried about, Ian or the, or the baby. Champ, you're gonna be fine. Eve, he is more beautiful than the last time I saw him. What could have happened to Ian? Hey, see, I know you're freaked out and you have bats on the brain. That's okay, Th that's allowed. But it's gonna be fine. How can you say that after everything that's happened? I don't know, I guess, because I know deep down that things are gonna work out. You just have to have faith. How do you stay so positive, Lucy? Because I really and truly believe there's a lot more good in this world than bad. I believed that, too. I mean, I have a beautiful husband and a beautiful baby. But now I have this fear, too, like it's all going to be taken away from me. I know, and that's okay. Fear is okay, you know. It, it keeps you safe, too. But you have to focus on the good and shut out the bad. Just like my cousin says. Your cousin. Rafe, my, you know, the vampire slayer from Transylvania, he just flew in. Um, you know, he flew in on a plane. Okay. Right. All right, I remember you told me about him. Why is he here, Lucy? Is he here because of Caleb? No, no. He's, I, I you know, come to think of it, I'm not sure why Rafe's here, but I know having him in town is a very good thing. It is. Oops, sorry. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Who are you? I'm Lucy's cousin, Rafe, and right now I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time. Lucy never mentioned anything about you. Well, it, it was sort of a surprise visit. O only you weren't the ones I was trying to surprise. Rafe, you're the cousin from Transylvania. You're the vampire slayer? Right, and you must be Jack, yeah. which would make you a living. Heard how you uh, helped Kevin and Lucy out when they came to your country. Hey. It's good to meet you, bro. Yeah, well, you know, the three of us saw some sights. Escaped death by Caleb's slightly insane family retainer. All in all, it was a great visit. Hey, right. that, that still doesn't explain what you're doing in my bedroom. Oh, well, uh, Lucy and Kevin went out, and they told me to make myself at home. And since it was a really long flight, I was just coming up to the bedroom to crash. Ever heard a knocking? That would be that thing you do with your knuckles. <laughs> yeah, look. I'm, I am. I'm, I'm really sorry about interrupting, but, uh, hey, at least we finally get to meet. Yeah, great. Now that, uh, now that we've met... Right, and I'm so glad that you survived your brush with immortality. Fighting Caleb's no picnic. Yeah, I don't mean to be rude, but would you mind leaving my bedroom now? Of course. Uh, I'm sorry. Relax. He's on our side. Huh? Hey, look, what's wrong? Look, Jack, I'm... I... I don't know what got into me. I just... I really wanted to be alone with you, you know? Hey. What do you say we just kind of get out of here? Sounds good. I'll wait for you downstairs. Okay? Okay. Don't be wrong. Are you all right? What the hell happened in here? I'm, I'm fine. Looks like somebody broke in. You're limping. I'm fine. 
Hey, but Eve must be worried sick. Let's get out of here. Come on. You need a hand? Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Hey, Slippy all right? Why'd you ask that? Well, I couldn't help noticing she was really upset. Again, I'm really sorry about busting him, but it was an honest mistake. No, no, it's not that. Olivia's been through hell. I mean, you can imagine what Caleb did to her, trying to use her and turn her against me. Yeah, well, listen, eventually, Livy will find some peace again, but in the meantime, is there anything I can do to help? Yeah, uh, actually, there is. You know that stuff that Lucy said about you guys having powers, you know, being slayers and all? Just ask her a question, Jack. Right, right. Um, you, you see things, right? Like evil things. What do you see when you look at me? Hmm. Oh, what? I don't see anything here worth slaying. Just a really great guy with lots of strength and courage. <laughs> That's good news. That's good news. Uh, there's something else I want to go with you, but I kind of don't want to do it here. So um, I live behind Jamal's bike shop across the street from the hospital. Yeah, I, I can find it. I'll swing by later. But you want to give me a heads up what this is about? Yeah. Look, I, I thought this whole craziness would go away once Caleb's gone. But we are all still fighting something. Livy and I still have these lingering effects from when we were bitten. And you want to know? Livy means everything. She's my whole life. And I need to know if this is going to continue to hurt us. Well, that's what I came here to find out. I didn't know why we were waiting. How about uh, we teach Daniel how to play poker? Next time Kevin's missing, we'll play old maids. Sorry, very bad suggestion. All right, a better suggestion. Why don't we sit down and I try and surround us with white light? It might help. Throw in some garlic and you're on. Okay. Okay. All right, here we are, hurt. safe and sound. No, it's, it's fine. It was just oh. a silly accident. Oh, oh, as long as you're okay. While you were down there, did you see anything? There's no anything? bad sign from the ceiling. Caleb had nothing to do with this. Yeah, but someone could have broken in down there. Why don't we just call the police just to make sure? Instead of that, well, um, it's been a long night for everybody. Why don't you go home? OK, thanks again, Kevin. Good night, Lucy. Uh, good night, Eve. <clears throat> thank you. Thank, thank okay, you. OK, good night. You're welcome. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Thanks for coming by. Wow. He rushed us out of there so fast. I think I got whiplash. I'm going to need a massage. Well, he sure didn't want me to call the cops, either. No. Well. Maybe he was just trying to reassure Eve, you know. Maybe. If you ask me, I was like he was trying to hide something. I should get you something for that leg. No, stay here. You're all I need. Don't ever scare me like that again. I thought something horrible had happened to you. And my whole life without you flashed before my eyes, and it wasn't pretty. Are you OK? Work too hard to have this family. No one's going to ruin that.
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Tempted. Poor Charles. We just slept together. Uh, that was one time, one night, a very, very long time ago. That your girlfriend doesn't know about. That she doesn't need to know about. Ian Thornhart is not who he says he is. I'm worried about Eve. In Pine Valley, it's all about Erica Kane and her world. On SoapNet, it's all about you. Coming up next is All My Children on SoapNet, devoted to soaps and you. Up next, it's All My Children, followed by One Life to Live and General Hospital, right here on SoapNet.